Hello and uh, welcome to my shop. It's been a while since our last video, so I thought uh, I would at least make a small one or a short one to tell you that I'm alive. I haven't been uh, able to record much over the summer because it's been too hot, uh, to be honest. And it is still today, as you can see on my shirt here. Plus, I know I'm not the, the skinniest, so I sweat easy. But anyways, it's still 85 degrees in the shop. All the doors are open and uh, it's not getting any better. Uh, fall is around the corner, but still, it's not cooling very fast. On top of that, we've had uh, weather issues with hurricanes passing. There's another one coming, so I haven't been in the shop uh, very much. But I've done a couple things and uh, I want to talk to you about and see what uh, you guys would like to see in the near future. So I'm gonna show you what I got in my back pocket, what I've been up to lately, and um, if you're interested, just drop in the comments that you are, and I'll make a specific video on it. If not, I'll just uh, keep going with uh, the table <laughs> that is in front of me here, which is still not finished, it's been started a while back for the laundry room but I haven't had uh, any chance uh, to work on it nor the desire to work on it because again it's been too hot so let me uh, show you a couple things and uh, you tell me if uh, these things are of interest to you in the comments below and we'll make uh, dedicated videos about it okay well let's get busy so let's start with a thing in the very back here uh, as you can see, this is the back of a bench. It's old, it's uh, rusty, uh, but I got it for free. There are other pieces here of a bench buried in here. So it's been waiting for full restoration, so I can put it in the backyard or front yard, but um, never got to it, at least uh, at this point. So that's one. Another one is this one right here, this little guy. It's an old uh, Delta benchtop drill press. And this is also waiting for a full restoration. I bought this from an individual on Facebook Marketplace just for restoring it. So this is another project that I acquired and I have not yet started. So that's number two. Number three is this one right here. I don't know if you know what that is, but this is an Oliver wood trimmer. It's very old too, vintage. I also bought this from uh, an individual on Facebook Marketplace for, to restore it. And I haven't had the opportunity to work on it. Uh, I don't know if you know how this kind of stuff works, but if you're interested, we can restore it together. So this is a, this is a shear, and it's made for uh, mainly picture frames to cut the miters perfectly. So we can work on this. That would be number three. Another one could be number four, or in no particular order but this thing here which was given to me by my uncle that's a sausage maker and this also needs a really good cleaning and uh, a restoration i wanted to be able to use that to make uh, sausages and also press some uh, grapes for wine so that could be another one in the back here you see a couple saws that i got which uh, look cool to me and we could also use uh, some uh, cleaning so we can do that also together if uh, there are any interests that could be another one another one could also be working on this thing which i just picked up a couple days ago actually from an auction very close to me so i couldn't pass it and it's a 14 inch jet benzo which needs some work so we could do that together if you're interested another one is this thing right here which i picked up at the same time and i found very next to me also same location as that thing with econoline sand blasting cabinet which i bought and brought back here i still don't know where i'm gonna put this thing 
but we still uh, need to figure out if this thing is working, how it is working, so on and so forth. So you see the, the blaster here and you see the, the cyclone or recycling or reclaiming buckets over there in the corner. All I did so far is plug the air, it's working. Plug the power to the motor down there, it's working. And same for this, plug the, the benzo and the bottom wing is turning. Um, there is no blade so I didn't see if it uh, was working properly and whatnot. We could do it together. And you see in the back here we're still the metal benzo I haven't touched. Uh, I haven't done anything with that thing in the back. Need to clean this up. Make sure it works properly and, and uh, get rid of it because I have no use for it. But uh, you've seen in previous videos that uh, it's working. Uh, it just needs a, a good cleanup. So as you can see, there is a lot that could be done. Um, I'm counting on you to tell me what uh, you're interested in, and I'll pick up priorities from there based on your comments. But uh, my priority is obviously to, as soon as I can, finish the table I've started because I don't like to start too many projects at once. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been months, so I need to finish that thing up. And as you can see, it's still hot in here. I haven't done anything and I'm sweating bullets. So no good, I'm really hoping for the fall to be here. We also have uh, one final thing that uh, is in the house, which I've been uh, playing lately. And this is a, a 3D printer. Uh, it seems like uh, it's very handy. I've seen lots of videos from uh, woodworkers uh, acquiring 3D printers to build jigs and stuff like that and tools or any kind of hardware and since I needed some uh, connectors uh, mag magnetic connectors for my dust collector I just decided to buy a cheap one and uh, try it out for myself uh, so if you are interested in seeing also 3D printed parts that I'm using for the shop, just let me know. So for instance, I don't know if uh, you will be able to see anything, but these connectors for instance, these five inch um, dust ports which have magnets embedded and uh, we snap to the dust collector um, so I don't have to do anything when I need to change from one tool to the other one it just snaps in place and I don't know if you can see in the very back there so the connection here goes to the planner and goes to the dust collection system I've been playing with that, so far I'm very happy with it. I've done a bunch of other stuff which we can talk about. So let me know if you're interested in this kind of stuff too and uh, we can do woodworking, we can do restoration stuff and we can do 3D printing stuff uh, all for the workshop. So let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.